What kind of mic is this? That's a Rode Pod mic. People often use it for recording speech, like for podcasts or voiceovers. I'm shook. Google Gemini. What is it? How do you use it? And why is it about to become your new business partner? How many of you are trying to start a business alone while balancing multiple jobs and wish you had someone in your corner to help you? In this video, we share the Gemini tips and tricks you need to boost your productivity. Let's get into it. Basic chat and writing assistant. So this is Google Gemini. As you can see in the top right-hand corner, I'm not signed in to any Google account. The biggest difference you're gonna notice between being signed in or not is in the left-hand corner here. The only model I'm able to choose is the 2.5 flash version, and I'm not able to upload any documents or select any of the exciting tools Gemini has to offer. If you wanna follow along with some of the other things I'm gonna do in this video, then signing in is necessary. But this version is still great to use as a chatbot or writing assistant. So say I want to ask for the entire history of Shopify. There we go. It's going to do just that and give me all this information here. I can then ask it to reduce the info to 500 words and without much fuss, there we have it. So if you're looking for a simple, straightforward writing assistant, no need to sign in. But let's look at the difference of when I actually sign in. Right off the bat, you'll notice that I have a cute little greeting in the center. Hello, Gemini. And on the left-hand side again, I now have access to choose 2.5 Pro. Then in the chat box itself, you'll notice a mic to dictate. You'll notice a tools button and this little plus that gives me the option to add files from Drive or upload them. So it works as a great writing assistant no matter what, but we are barely even scratching the surface on what it can do. Let's make a mark, shall we? Interact with documents and images. True story, when I was in high school, my nemesis was factoring in math, and I had a bunch of teachers trying to explain it to me, one person even using a dill pickle, which didn't work. I am so confused. You're kidding. Good thing I still got this pickle. Anyways, it took a teacher in grade 11 while he was playing guitar, I might add, to say one sentence and I was back on the honor roll. So I love this file interaction tool because when I need to understand something quickly, I can ask Gemini to rephrase or condense information so that I can understand in my own way. Though nothing replaces the wisdom of a guitar playing math teacher. Gemini comes pretty close. So this plus sign is where you can upload files like PDFs, Word documents, or spreadsheets directly from your computer or drive so it can interact with your content. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Go to the plus sign and select upload files or add from drive. If you haven't connected your Google Drive to Gemini, it will prompt you to do so, but I already have, so it won't prompt me. But for now, I'm gonna select upload files, select my PDF, and ask Gemini to summarize this document into five major parts and explain it to me like I'm five years old. I love how specific this intro is to being five years old. Writing goals can feel like a big, confusing grown-up task. You're right, Gemini, it is. You can also generate an audio overview of your PDF or doc by using the prompt generate audio overview after uploading the doc. Okay, welcome to the deep dive. This is where we uh, try to cut through the noise. I love how it sounds like a podcast. It's so freaky. Or have Gemini describe the details of an image like I've done here. It outlined all of the details of an image for me. Generate creative visuals. To all my business owners out there stuck trying to decide what kind of images and designs you want for your website, well get ready because you're about to go bananas for Google's updated image generator, AKA Nano Banana. It earned its playful nickname after its highly detailed and precise images started going viral. With only simple prompts, Gemini's image creator makes high quality edits like never before. You can use it to help inspire concepts or create a quick mock-up of announcement posts for your social media, things like that. It's also gotten crazy good at spelling text within generated visuals, a huge leap forward for AI art. I had some fun with some images I took while away in Italy, for example. With just one prompt each, I added a pirate ship in the canals of Venice, turned one of my favorite pics into a watercolor, and made it so mermaids swam alongside the boat I took to Venice. Now, if only all those things were actually real. Sigh. 
Okay, this is all fun and games. I must admit, I got a little carried away. But how can Nano Banana actually be useful to you in a business situation? Say you have an e-commerce store on Shopify. If you don't, I left a free trial link for you in the description below and as a card right here inside the video. You're welcome. And you wanna create a lifestyle product image to add to your website and you know exactly what you wanna do but don't have the Photoshop skills to do it yet. You can mash up two images together to create a new one. For example, you want to see what your new jacket looks like on a model. So upload a picture of a model and one of your jackets and then type in swap the jackets. Ooh, there we go, looking snazzy. I actually love that. It's very close to exactly what I'm looking for, but let's see if I can add text. So I'm gonna go to my second prompt here, create a promotional banner for a flash sale, including the text flash sale 20% off, clearly displayed overlaying the photo you just made. Again, press submit and let's see what it comes up with. And here it is. The text is a little bit funky, but it's clearly displayed. So it did do exactly what I asked it to do. I don't love the color. So I'm gonna go to change it back to black and white. Okay, and after a few more tries, here's the final image. From only a few prompts, I already have a decently usable image, which is pretty impressive. Connect your Google ecosystem. This might be my favorite hack. No need to have an overwhelming amount of windows open at once. You can operate your entire Google workspace all from Gemini once you connect your account. Watch what happens when I type the at sign into the chat. An entire list of icons show up. If you haven't linked your Google account yet, clicking on any one of these will prompt you to do so. This allows you to integrate Google workspace apps and even YouTube into your chat prompts. You could link a YouTube video and ask Gemini to summarize the top three points. I chose one from our channel. I'm using how to start a profitable cleaning business video and asking it to summarize the top three points. Let's see what it comes up with. Now it did get the year wrong, but giving it a quick scan, that's not too far off. You can also ask Gemini to add an event to your Google calendar, like I'm doing here with my mom's birthday. And then with Gmail attached, you can ask it to draft an email for you, like to your boss, to tell them you'll be taking the weekend off because everyone deserves a vacation. And with Gemini, you just might get one a little faster. Deep research and fact checking. Tired of sifting through countless search results, hack number five is for you. To anyone who can remember, deep research will make you feel how it felt to use Google for the first time. Now when I use Google search, I get really annoyed that I have to bypass a bunch of sponsored ads that don't even guarantee accurate up-to-date information. Deep research is a great way to get to the information you really need faster. Deep research mode lets you ask complex questions and get comprehensive, well-sourced reports from numerous websites, complete with source links and even tables. To access deep research, go to the tools button, select deep research at the top, and then input your prompt. As you can see, mine's pretty dense. I'm essentially asking Gemini to compare gaming computers across the internet and then asking it to explain it to me as though I'm a tech novice because I am. And I am looking for a gaming computer and it's a lot. And then when I press submit, it will show me its plan of attack, so to speak. And if you're happy with the plan, select start research. Now this will take a few minutes. So feel free to step away, make yourself a cup of tea and trust that when you come back, it will have assembled an entire report for you. But as you can see, it's showing its work. It's showing you all of the websites that it's researching right now and all of the steps as it completes them. Oh, look at all the details. It even outlined the prices for me and compared them. This is a full report, exactly what I'm looking for when I hear the words deep research. Customize Gemini with gems. The impulse to say uncut gems like Julia Fox is strong, but I am stronger. <laughs> a gem is a version of Gemini, get it? That you can tailor for a specific task or role. With each gem you create, you're creating a specialized AI assistant that acts exactly the way you want it to. For example, let's say I run a Shopify store and want to know the top five social media trends that week. I can make a gem for that. Go to the sidebar, select explore gems, and then click new gem. I will assign my gem a title such as weekly 
social media trends and then give it instructions. Make sure you assign your gem an identity, such as you are a content strategist, a professional copywriter, or what I'm doing here. You are a social media trend analyst specializing in the candle and home fragrance industry and then go into detail about what exactly you're looking for. You can use Gemini to give you a draft of a gem instruction, which I absolutely did here, and then edit it to your heart's content. For even more details, you can attach a file from your drive, which you can do by pressing this little plus sign here. And I'm gonna add my entire content marketing strategy for my candle business, which by the way, check out my video on how to do that at the end of the video. And then, type run in the preview box to the right, which will show you an example of how your gem will perform. Refine until you're happy with its output, then click save. Now, whenever you wanna run the action, just click on your gem and instruct it to run its personalized task. Google Gemini Live, voice and visual interaction. Psst, look down. Google Gemini is now on your phone, giving you a new way to interact with AI using your voice, photos, and camera. Need a quick article summary? Click on the center button, select mic, and ask Gemini to summarize the article for you. Or you can tap the camera icon, take a photo of your surroundings, and then ask Google questions about it. But you have to try Gemini Live. Through the Gemini app on your phone, select either the camera icon or the one that looks like two stars. It will open a chat feature where you can live stream your surroundings, ask questions, and receive answers in real time. Don't believe me? Check this out. What kind of mic is this? That's a Rode Pod mic. It's a dynamic microphone, which means it's great at picking up sound directly in front of it while rejecting background noise. People often use it for recording speech, like for podcasts or voiceovers. I'm shook. Plus, you can do pretty much everything I'm talking about in this video through the app on your phone, except it also gives you the option to upload images from your photo gallery. Power up with canvas mode. For all the people watching this currently cramming for an exam or trying to absorb a massive business document, this is for you. Canvas is the ultimate digital workspace. When you use Gemini as a chatbot, you can't edit its responses. In Canvas, you can. Say I'm gonna have a test for a book I read in class and I need to create a study plan. I'm gonna use Canvas for that. So go to tools, select Canvas, input your prompt, and then upload your document. For instance, I'm using a PDF version of Pride and Prejudice because that's the book I read and I'm gonna use the prompt create a study plan. Select submit. It's given me a weekly study plan that I can edit or change and customize how I need it. I can change the font, spacing, and any other information I'd like, but it can do even more. Watch what happens when I ask it to create a practice quiz. See what I mean by study buddy? I'd usually have to create a quiz in an entirely separate app. Let's see if I get this right. What is the name of the estate Mr. Bingley rents in Herefordshire? I do believe it's Netherfield Park. Oh, and I'm right. I guess I'm a good student. But wait, there's more. Turn the quiz into an infographic. Look at that. Not only is it helpful, it's cute. Canvas mode is also a great tool to use if you're generating code. In canvas mode, you can edit its responses instead of going back and forth to find the right prompt. So useful. <laughs> Gemini plus Notebook LM integration for advanced workflows. Gemini and Notebook LM are amazing individually. If they were people, Notebook LM would be the friend who spent their lunch in the library, and Gemini would be the student council president. Together, they are the ultimate group project duo. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to Notebook LM. Click Create New Notebook. As you can see, you can upload sources like PDFs, audio, YouTube, links, websites, Google Docs, Google Slides, copy text. However, in the top right-hand corner, there is a Discover Sources button. This is where the library analogy really comes in. This is like going to a librarian and asking them what books you have on this topic. So Notebook will ask you for a topic. I'm imagining I'm doing a report on RPG video games, cause I'm a nerd. And I wanna know why they're so popular and who are the major competitors and who their target audiences are. Notebook will then accumulate resources from the internet it thinks will suit the topic. I'm also telling it to exclude sources like Reddit, Wikipedia, and prioritize peer-reviewed studies and reliable resources. Click Submit. 
and it will give me a list of sources that it will pull information from that I can review and approve. Once sources are selected and information is uploaded, the Notebook LM Studio automatically extracts and cites the content. From there, you can transform the information into various formats like a mind map, a video, or an audio file. But here's where the student council president duo comes in. Take all that information from Notebook LM and transfer the data to Gemini to create an SEO optimized blog post, infographic, quiz, or app in Canvas, for example. If you wanna know even more about Notebook LM, I'll link Charisma's video at the end for you to watch next. So now, when I say they are truly the ultimate dynamic duo, I hope you understand what I mean. Unlocking advanced capabilities with Gemini Pro. We have to talk about Pro. Yes, there is a lot you can do on the free version, but the Pro model has superior reasoning, math and coding capabilities, and significantly higher usage limits, and you get access to scheduled actions. One of my favorite features of Gemini Pro is the scheduled actions feature. This is literally like having a personal assistant for your life. So say for instance, you commute to work in the morning and you need to know the traffic details before you leave. You can ask Gemini to send me a 401 traffic alert every morning at 7 a.m. You just have to type that in and it will send an alert wherever you have Gemini installed. And if you want to edit any of your scheduled actions, go to settings or profile pick on your phone, click scheduled actions and then edit it to make it more specific. Secondly, I had to do a ton of screen recordings for this video and usually I have to go through manually to transcribe the text but this time I tried using the free version of Gemini to help me do this by uploading the video into the prompt box and then asking it to transcribe the voiceover though it was successful for small videos anything larger than two minutes would glitch or refuse to upload with pro I had zero problems with this because of the increased usage limits, which saved me tons of time. And as you can see, this video is six minutes long. Look how much text is transcribed. And as someone who filmed this video, first glance, this is pretty on point. The quality of transcriptions also greatly increased in the free version. There were often mistakes or things rewritten. This has transcribed practically everything word perfect. So if you are using Gemini frequently for bigger tasks, the pro version truly is the way to go. Chances are in the next few months or a year, I'm gonna have to make another one of these videos because Gemini seems to be evolving so fast with new capabilities and exciting additions around every corner. So if you enjoyed this video and want to be there for the next one, press that thumbs up button and subscribe. Plus, you can even create a scheduled action to notify you whenever we drop a new video. Fun fact. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and I'll see you next time.